Thank you for joining me for another workout. This one is all about your back today. So we are working all of those postural muscles, making your back nice and strong. You do not need anything. We're gonna start by warming up the back in a seated position. So right arm is gonna go down to the ground. Left arm reaches overhead. When you do this, make sure that that left sit bone is connected to the mat. It's okay if you can't get your arm down. You want a nice stretch in that side body rotating across to the other side. Again, that sit bone on the right side is now connected to the ground. Bring yourself around. We're gonna do one more on each side. Beautiful around. Good, around and release. Flipping it onto all fours, warming up that spine a little bit more with some cat cow. You're gonna inhale, drop your core down towards the ground, eyes gaze up towards the ceiling, and as you exhale, one vertebrae at a time, starting at your tailbone, you are rounding all the way up, dropping that head. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale, good. Take your hands, one handprint in front of where they are. We're gonna massage those hips a little bit more, so untuck those toes. You're gonna bring your hips down and around, just kind of feeling that low back open up a little bit more. Whatever feels best for you. You can hold a position a little bit longer if needed. Good, opposite direction. You can hear my knee, I do apologize. <laughs> it happens. Good, bring yourself back to center. Good, we're gonna warm up that back with some bird dog crunches. So I want you to extend your left leg out first. Hips are squared off to the ground. Right arm is extended out. You're going to meet your knee to your elbow, crunching into center and then extending back out. Beautiful, slow and controlled. Exhale in, inhale out. Beautiful. Three more, three, two, one more. You're gonna hold it out, good. Hold it out from here, lift and lower towards the ceiling. Keep that belly button pulled in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one good hand comes down foot comes down child's pose give your low back a little bit of a stretch excellent bring yourself back up to that tabletop position right foot is extended out this time and left arm pull that core in knee to elbow and extend You got it, six more, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Great, hold it out, lift and lower towards the ceiling. 10, nine, keep that core strong, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Hand comes down, foot comes down. Child's pose. Stretch it out. Beautiful. You're going to return to that tabletop position. 
we're going to start with that left hand. Those fingertips are going to go behind your ears, elbows out to the side, nice and wide. Your elbow is going to come down towards your right wrist, keeping your hips squared off to the ground. You're going to open that thoracic spine, that torso as much as you can. Good. Elbow to wrist and really rotate open. Make sure those hips aren't shifting side to side. You want to keep your hips nice and steady. This is all about your thoracic spines, your upper back really rotating. Beautiful. We're going to do one more here. Excellent. That hand is coming down. And now your right fingertips are going to go behind your ears. Your right elbow is coming down towards that left wrist. Good, and then opening to the side. Again, focus on really keeping those hips squared off to your mat. They shouldn't be shifting right or left, forwards or backwards. Core is engaged and still in two. And one. Beautiful. I'm going to have you flip this over into a seated position. I want those legs extended out in front of you. They're pretty much in a V, okay? If you think that those heels are towards the center, center, the corners of your mat, that's going to be the best option for you. Torso is nice and tall, so you're going to feel this stretch in your hamstrings, okay? We're working all of our back muscles here. So this one might get a little uncomfortable. Keep your body in that upright position. You're going to take your hands out in front of you, okay? They're going to come up overhead both at the same time. Shoulders are down and back. Again, you're going to feel that in your hamstrings. And then release down in front. Inhale. And exhale. You got it. Inhale. And exhale. Now, just your left arm. Right arm's going to stray. Stay in front of you. You're going to inhale. You're going to open. And then close in front. Inhale. Open. Stay nice and tall. Inhale. Open. Beautiful. One more. Inhale. Open, left side, you're going to inhale, you're going to exhale, so you're going to inhale back up, and in front, good, keep that torso tall, inhale, exhale, inhale, and in front, two more, inhale, exhale, Inhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And rest. Good. Same thing on the right side. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it in front. Beautiful. Inhale. Eyes are following. You're doing great. Two more. One more. Nice and tall. Beautiful. Now you're coming back and around. Inhale. Exhale. Back up. Inhale. And in front. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Back in front. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale one more, inhale, exhale, inhale, and release, beautiful. Take those fingertips behind your ears, keep your elbows nice and wide, keep your legs nice and strong. We're going to rotate side, center, side, 
center. I know it burns. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Fold it forward, reach for your toes. Beautiful. I want you to flip it over onto your stomach and move my mat because I think my couch is going to get in the way. Good. You're going to lay on your stomach. Arms and legs are going to be extended out. Thumbs are towards the ceiling. Your toes are elongated. You have that pointed toe. You're going to lift your left arm and your right leg first, squeezing that back in and lower. Head comes up, right arm, left leg, alternating side, squeeze and lower. Beautiful job. Up and down. Up and down. Great job. Nice and strong here. Two more. One. Last one. Beautiful. You may rest. Place your hands down so your forehead can rest on them. We're just going to lift the legs up. From here, you have nice, strong legs, pointed toes. You're lifting up. Thighs are coming off the ground. And then back down. Keep that belly button pulled in. Lift up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And back down. Good. Five more. Five. Four. Beautiful. Three. Keep that core pulled in. Two. One more. Beautiful. Now we're going to add on to this. So you're going to lift your legs up, you're going to bend your heels in, you're going to extend back out, and then set them down. Okay, head is going to stay down the entire time. Legs come up, bend, extend, and down. Up, bend, extend, and down. Three of six. Three more. Three. You got it. Two. I know the back muscles are screaming. Stay with me. One more. Beautiful. I want you to push back into child's pose before we continue on. Give that low back a nice stretch. Knees are out wide. Sink your hips down. Really focus on your breath and stretching through this exercise. Awesome. You're going to come back down on your stomach. Your legs are going to stay down during this one. So your legs and your low back get a little bit of a break. Not too much because of what we're doing with the arms. So palms are facing towards the ground. Your hands are a little bit higher than your shoulders. From here, you're going to lift your upper body off of the mat. You're squeezing your shoulder blades back in together like you're pinching a penny and then coming back down. Good. Up. Squeeze and back down. Beautiful. Eight. Seven. Keep that core pulled in. You're not pressing it down towards the ground. You're leaving it lifted towards the ceiling. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. And one. Good. Now we're going to add on to this one. So you're going to lift your upper body up. You're going to extend your arms out. You're going to pull them in and then release down. This one's going to be tough. You only will have six of these, okay? Because you're really going to start to feel this in your back. So we're lifting up, extend out, in, and down. Beautiful. Up, out, in, and down. Out, in, and down. Three more. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, 
in and down last one up out in and down good child's pose stretch at center take a few deep breaths here walk your hands to the right give that left side body a nice stretch And then walk your hands to the left. Give your right side body a nice stretch. We only have a few more exercises. Beautiful. You're going to come back down on your stomach. I know we're almost there. Stay with me. This time I want your arms back behind you. And I want palms up towards the ceiling. We're going to roll your shoulders down and back. You're gonna lift your arms and legs off the ground and I want you to imagine someone's pulling those fingertips towards your heels. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And rest. We have one more of those. We're gonna add in a little bit extra movement. So you're gonna come back up. You're squeezing and your arms are pulling in towards your center. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Child's pose. Beautiful. All right, coming into a high plank position. If you need to on this one, you can absolutely set your knees down. We're gonna end with a core and back exercise, really challenging your stability here. Coming into that high plank, toes are tucked under, nice, strong, high plank, belly button pulled in. From here, you're gonna pull into a row towards your hip and then set that hand back down, alternating sides, pull and back down. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Coming into a seated position. Reach those arms up towards the ceiling. We're going to clasp, reaching over to one side. Does that feel nice on your side body? I feel like my back is a little tight sometimes after these workouts. Good. Other side. I want you to take your left hand, place it onto your right knee, and twist your torso, really opening up your spine and your chest. Good. Switch hands. Beautiful job. I know this was a puck routine. Working all of those really small back muscles makes a huge difference. So thank you for joining me for this workout. I will see you again tomorrow right here on the mat.